Today we will be talking about the use and care of the pocket coldoscope. We will begin by showing you the basic structure of the device, and then we will discuss how to clean the device and how to use it in a clinical setting. This is the USB cord. The blue part of the device is the handle. This is the focus slider, the image capture button, and the light button. This is the submersion line. Be sure not to get the pocket coldoscope wet or submerge it in a liquid above the submersion line. The white part of the device is the probe. At the tip, you have the camera with the light in the center. Before we discuss how to use the pocket coldoscope, we are going to learn how to clean the device and prepare the materials needed to clean it. The device is reusable as long as it has been cleaned according to guidelines. If you're not sure if the pocket is clean, clean it again. It only takes 20 to 25 minutes. Ensure that the pocket is disconnected before it is cleaned. Try to prevent the cord from getting wet during the cleaning process. These are the materials that you will need for cleaning. Three squirt bottles, one for sterile water, one for Cytex OPA, and one for Enzol. You will need eight lint-free paper towels. These are blue and are different from regular paper towels because they do not leave microscopic hairs on the device when it is cleaned. A basin for waste collection, a soaking container, yours will usually be transparent, a graduated cylinder for measuring liquids, a timer, test strips for the Cytex, a thermometer to ensure that the Cytex is at at least 20 degrees Celsius, a cap from your squirt bottle, and a few small plastic cups. Throughout the cleaning process, you may need to set the pocket colposcope down while preparing other cleaning products. If you do not have someone else who can hold the pocket for you, place the pocket on a clean chuck or paper towel to ensure a sterile environment while you prepare your other cleaning products use gloves to ensure a sterile environment. First phase of the cleaning is to prepare the enzol. You're going to fill your squirt bottle with 500 milliliters of sterile water. Sterile water is not necessarily taken from the faucet. It can be bottled, boiled, or chemically clarified with bleach. Next, you are going to open your jug of Enzol. You will take the cap to your squirt bottle and fill it with Enzol. This will be about 30 milliliters of Enzol. You will pour the cap full of Enzol into the 500 milliliters of sterile water. Then you will close the squirt bottle and shake it up. Remove the cap and replace with the squirt bottle lid. On the bottle of Enzol, there will be a stamped expiration date. Be sure to label your squirt bottle with the same expiration date as found on the Enzol jug. Next, you are going to prepare the Cytex solution. This is Cytex OPA. It is different than regular Cytex. If you are opening a brand new jug of Cytex, label the expiration date on the jug. The expiration date will be 75 days from the date the jug is open. The jug of Cytex must be stored at at least 20 degrees Celsius. Take your squirt bottle labeled for Cytex and fill it to the brim with Cytex OPA. You will then label the squirt bottle with the same date that is marked on the jug of Cytex. Once the Cytex is in the squirt bottle, it is good for 14 days, but you must test the Cytex every day. You will pour three ounces of Cytex from your squirt bottle into a plastic cup. You will then open a box of Cytex test strips. Remove one test strip, ensuring that your hands are dry in the process. You will then dunk the test strip for one second into the cup of Cytex. Do not swirl the test strip. 
You will then remove the test strip and place it in another plastic cup. You will set the timer for 90 seconds. After 90 seconds, you will take the test strip and compare it to the chart on the side of the test strip container. If the test strip is purple, as shown, your Cydex is good. If the test strip appears blue or patchy where it was dumped into the Cydex, your Cydex is no longer good and will need to be replaced. Your third bottle should be filled with sterile water. Sterile water can be boiled, bottled drinking water, DI water, or water that has been chemically clarified with bleach. Now we will begin the process of cleaning the pocket colposcope. Inspect the pocket colposcope for any obvious dirt or fluids. You will clean the cord and handle after every time the pocket is used. You will take your first paper towel and moisten it with Enzol. You will then rub the handle and the cord of the pocket colposcope, paying attention to the buttons and slider. You will then throw this paper towel away. You will take your second paper towel and moisten it with sterile water. You will again rub the handle and cord of the pocket colposcope. You will then throw this paper towel away. You will take your third paper towel and moisten it with Cydex OPA. Again, you will rub this all over the handle and cord of the pocket colposcope, paying attention to the buttons and slider. You will then throw this paper towel away. Lastly, you will take another paper towel and rinse with sterile water. You will again rub the handle and cord of the pocket colposcope. You will then throw this paper towel away. The cord and handle of the pocket colposcope are now clean. Roll up the cord to prevent it from touching or getting dirty throughout the rest of the cleaning process. We are now going to clean the probe of the pocket colposcope. You will prepare your soaking container first by ensuring that the container is dry and empty beforehand. Use a graduated cylinder to measure out 150 milliliters of Enzol. You will then dump the Enzol into the soaking container. You will then take paper towel number five and rinse with sterile water. Rub all over the probe of the pocket colposcope and place the pocket colposcope into the soaking container. You will set the timer for two minutes. If you see any bubbles in the soaking container, you can agitate the soaking container to ensure the bubbles float to the top. After two minutes, you are going to remove the pocket colposcope from the soaking container. You will then rinse the probe three times with sterile water. You will then take another paper towel and wrap the probe in the towel. Take the Enzol detergent and dispose of it in a sink or basin. Make sure that the soaking container is as dry as possible after discarding the Enzol. After you've checked that the Cydex is good using the Cydex test strips, you will fill the soaking container to the line with Cydex. Take your thermometer and insert into the soaking container. You must ensure that the Cydex is above 20 degrees Celsius before using it to clean the pocket colposcope. Insert the probe to its immersion line in the soaking container. You will then set the timer for 12 minutes. After 12 minutes, remove the probe from the soaking container and rinse with sterile water three times. You will then take a paper towel and dry the pocket colposcope from the handle to the tip of the probe. You will then throw this paper towel away. 
Your final paper towel will be used to wrap the now sterile probe when the probe is cleaned in between patients. If it is the last patient of the day, you can use a sterile chuck to wrap the probe in until the next clinic day.